Hey there, you're watching Amit the Burma. Now, if you're like me, you have probably been shut in and working from home for the last eight weeks or six weeks or however long it's been. We've all lost track of time. And that's what I've been doing. That's what my team has been doing. It was definitely a very, very scary, uncertain time period. It was so difficult for me to look into the eyes of my employees today and tell them, hey guys, we're shutting down. We're forced to shut down and not know what's gonna come in the future. By the grace of God, our team has been able to, number one, work from home. Another crazy unexpected thing that happened is so many amazing clients just like you have been buying from us online, from Instagram, from Facebook, from our website. It has been a very unexpected and a wonderful surprise that I'm so grateful for and appreciate from you guys so much. I know my team certainly does. We were having a talk the other day about what everyone's been doing in between this working from home process, which we've all been navigating. And it's been interesting what everyone's been doing. If you follow me, you know that I've been doing little projects around the house, color coding, organizing, getting my napkins and things like that that I've wanted to one day getting around to do. When we started circulating pictures and recipes, I was done. Some of our team members have not only taken it to the next level, but like the next, next, next level. And so instead of telling you, let me just show you. I am redoing my backsplash in my kitchen. So I actually am working on it right now. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what I'm working on. I've gotten the grout put in. This side I've already wiped down. This side I'm starting. So it's looking good and I will show y'all what it looks like after. Here's my backsplash in my kitchen. So I think it came out pretty good for it being my first time doing backsplash. So I'll let y'all know what other projects I'll be working on. I also started with painting my kitchen cabinets, which I have not completed. They're in the process. And I also started my floors. So I'm ripping out all the carpet and tile and putting wood floors in. So that's a few projects that we started during this time. Hey guys, I'm just in my kitchen doing a little cleaning up and organizing since my kids have school right now. So I'm in my pantry, just wanted to show you what I'm working on, just getting it nice and organized. So it's looking like H-E-B. Just wanted to keep you on the loop of what I'm working on right now, trying to stay busy. I started making arroz con leche, which was amazing. I made it for my son, he loved it, and I have made it probably four times since uh, quarantine, so he's been eating a lot of that. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Today, I'm gonna be repotting a plant that I bought a couple of months ago. Um, and never got to do it. <laughs> so I had been procrastinating, but now I'm gonna do it. <laughs> My mom is making homemade tortillas. During my time at home, during this quarantine time, I painted a few pieces that I had that I had been procrastinating doing. And what better time to do them while you're at home? I started watching Legacies, on which led me to watch the originals, which I think came out when I was like in my late teens, early 20s. And I had watched an episode or two, but never really got into it until now. A life lesson I learned during the quarantine is enjoying the time you have with your family and friends. You never know when it can be taken away from you.
Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sam. I am the videographer and editor for Village Antiques. Since quarantine, my days have been, you know, very eventful. I have been taking on very large projects and keeping myself very busy on my feet. And I think, you know, I think it's, I think it's been good for me. Okay, so I've just been editing and that's good because it's keeping me inside where we should all be. Okay, so today is a new day. I uploaded a video this afternoon to YouTube and Facebook. So not much has changed except for going to the grocery store, which is something that I'm about to do. You're gonna see me in my mask and my gloves and ready to basically brave the outdoors. In the midst of all of this craziness and unpredictability, we found out that our dog, Zoe, had cancer. Within days, she was gone. If anything, I'm grateful for this quarantine because it allowed me to spend so much more time with her than I would have. It's just taught me to appreciate my loved ones who I do see every day so much more. I cannot tell you how strange this time has been. I'm sure you all feel the same way. A couple of takeaways are I am so grateful that myself and my team had the time to pursue our home passions. Obviously that's what our whole business is about and we're like the cobbler's kids. We don't always get around to doing the things we want to do at home because we're just busy with our work all day. So I'm thrilled and inspired that everyone got some downtime to savor this time with family and learn new things like new recipes and do all the projects that they wanted to do. I'm so grateful for them for being able to work from home and continue to contribute and just being the amazing, incredibly talented people that they are and hope this time kind of gave them the benefit of being the better version of themselves because we all deserve that. We all need that. And so hopefully that's a silver lining in some of this. And so I hope you got to do some great projects and I would love to see them in the comments. Just like my team was sharing videos and pictures, leave a comment down below with pictures or videos. And if you can't, you can't add it to the comments, just email it to us and we'll add it for you. We've already been getting dozens, dozens and dozens of pictures. I was so inspired to see how many people were doing home renovation projects, furniture projects, furniture painting projects. It kept us going. It made us feel inspired. I think history is gonna look back and this is gonna be a huge time that everything's going to evolve and change. Businesses, restaurants, services, people's willingness to try new things from home. And so I'm really curious and kind of excited to be a part of what is the next chapter of the whole collective world gonna look like. I hope you've enjoyed this behind the scenes look at what myself and my team have been working on and all the fun, crazy takeaways we've taken away from the past few weeks. If so, be sure to subscribe to our channel or follow us, whichever social media page you're on, so you can be sure to receive more of all of the amazing design tips that myself and my team love sharing with you.